Hi guys, my name is Esther Mothoni and today we shall be looking at how to register a private limited company uh, via eCitizen portal. Uh, the first step is to log in to your eCitizen account uh, and then your email address and then uh, you put in your password. Then you log in. Uh, you go to business registration service and click get service uh, and then you will do uh, you will click here private limited company and you start to apply and it will give you this information a company is limited by shares if the liability of its members is limited by the memorandum to the amount if any of unpaid shares have a company limited by shares or you can have a company limited by guarantee in our case we are registering a company limited by shares so the liability of the members of this company or the directors is limited to the amount of unpaid shares that is in case the company goes to liquidation so you click apply now um remember uh, in the past we used to, to do name reservation but now we just we just go and just you just write the names the preferred names they are like a maximum of of five but in our case we can do we'll just do three uh, so you can let's assume we are doing a, a tours and travel company so our first uh, preferred name would be amplifier adventures uh, and then you will say it is not affiliated to any business and then we proceed um, our other name um, is upward adventures and then we will say it's not affiliated to any other company um, Uh, the third uh, we will say that it's uphill adventures and it's not affiliated with any other company and then our name four we don't have to provide a name here so in our case we can say not applicable and even here it's not uh, affiliated to another company then also we we say here that it's not applicable because we we already gave our three preferred names so remember your company will be given the name according to the order on how you have given them so make sure that your first name is like your your number one name like your priority name and then you click here and then say none and then we proceed and uh, we save and continue um here is where you we do articles and memoranda so we are going to fill the applicant details who is applying for the company it can be an agent or the owner so in this sec in this case i'll say that i am the secretary and then i provide my my address and the postal code yeah as gpo i'll put gpo and then articles of association these days you can uh, you can adopt the model articles of association applicable to the type of company selected if you want to view the articles you just click here and you can view them uh, you can as well adopt some of those models articles and then maybe you have prepared your your name to supplement them so you can click uh, whatever fits you then you can see the company has prepared its own articles of association so in our case we are adopting the articles as they have been provided so we click there or you just let it be uh, in our case you're not doing a business that is regulated under any any law so we will just say it's non-regulated the nature of business we can say it's tour tours and travel and then the sector you come and select we can say you can select all these whichever fits your business in our case for example you can do arts entertainment in our case we will say other services and then we proceed division we write other services as well and then we will say the group other services uh, in the class of the business we'll also say other services 
but remember you can you can select uh, there's a range of services provided so you can select uh, where your business is falling on and then when do you want to start the business in our case we want to start um on september maybe in a in a week's time so you can say 28th of september and then you do accounting period when do you want to be doing accounting for your business like end month so in our case we will do december like it's the end of year so yeah that will be our accounting period and then number of employees in our case we don't have employees so if you have employees and you'll be paying them more than 13k per month 13486 as provided here then you're supposed to to include their number but then if you don't have employees or you have people that you'll be paying less then you just indicate that it is zero uh and then estimated turnover uh for your business um you will you will automatically be registered for value added tax if your annual turnover is more than five million so in our case we will say maybe our business is worth um our turnover maybe is just per year will be one million yeah so in that case you put the figure there and then is the company you're registering a subsidiary company or a branch it is not it is not a subsidiary company it is not a branch it is the main thing so you put there it is not it's neither of those things and then was your business formed as a result of amalgamation or acquisition remember two businesses can come together or two companies can be merged together into one through what we call amalgamation or acquisition so in that case you say you say no because uh, we have not amalgamated or there is no acquisition in this case so we save and continue and then the registered office of the company um, where will the company be located and what will be the address so you have to fill all those details um, so you'll come here and say maybe the company is in Nairobi you see it's in Nairobi sorry mm, yes the company is in Nairobi uh, what district mm -hmm. Westlands and then locality Westlands as well and then uh, what what is the name of the building uh, Westlands Towers a uh, street you can as well see Westlands and then we do the flow you can put in the flow where your company is located uh, maybe it's in suit two second floor westland in westland towers in westland uh, in all those details and then you say postal address of your company you put any any number that you know uh, that is the postal address if you have one yes uh, and then maybe we can use um, say maybe it's GPO in our case and then mobile number of your company uh, you can put any number you want and then the email address and then you'll be good to go so we save and we continue mm -hmm. and then ownership uh, share information uh, the amount of shares uh, you will be available for allocation in your company and how much is each share so in our case you'll come here in add uh, remember for shares we have categories we might have shares ordinary shares or preference shares all that you have to include so in our case we have our category is is ordinary shares and then uh, we have 1000 shares and each share is worth 1000 remember our we want our nominal capital to be 1 million so we will have um, the number of shares will be 1000 multiplied by 1000 that will be 1m so you can as well add add other shares here but in our case we are good to go and then now we save and continue um, ownership is who owns the company so who are the directors who is the secretary and all those details in our case we are going to register a company with only one director you can do that with the new the companies act 2015 you can register your company with just one one director so you will come here and add the information of the directors if there's a secretary as well you can add uh, so we'll come here and add the information 
um, in this case maybe uh, I'm the director though I'm applying as a secretary but that is just for purposes of uh, showing you how to do it then I'm a Kenyan citizen I input my ID yes and then we are good to go we proceed mm -hmm. and then here are the documents CR1, CR2 uh, CR8 and CR we'll just download for the purposes of this mm -hmm. for us to see what they are so this is then the other one is CR2 CR2 contains mm -hmm, it, ha, it is a memorandum for a company with share capital so it is showing that the number of shares I have mm, we said we have 1000 shares number of shares I have taken I have taken one share class of shares taken is ordinary shares and then as a subscriber I have to show here and sign uh, and then you have to sign as well yeah as a subscriber in as well as a director shareholder and then the other form is this form cr8 cr8 um, hmm. it is notice of residential address of or change of address of director of a company it is where i live so these are just the details of the director uh, in this case director shareholder so it has the locality and, the, and then here we have uh, the statement of nominal capital like this the capital the initial capital when you're setting up uh, the business it is 1 million uh, it is divided into one ordinary shares and 1000 and each of them is 1000 so this is how it looks like guys and then in our case we have been exempted from stamp duty so we will not pay stamp duty in, our, in, our, in this case because we don't have a turnover of 5 million. Yes, and guys, it's that easy to register. So once you download these forms and then you sign them, um, you give them out to be signed by directors, then uh, you have to submit and review. After you submit, then you'll have to pay a fee. It is around 10650 so that is the fee you'll be required to pay and then you can wait for a week or a few days and then now you get the certificate of registration your company is now is now registered and you can get a certificate of incorporation you can do the pin if you want so guys that is the process it is very uh, it's a very easy process it will just take you around 20 minutes you have if you have all the details that you need or even less thank you for watching this video if you are new here kindly subscribe for more videos on how to register businesses and the legal stuff affecting your your business